What's going on? Thank you so much for checking out this video about conversion rate optimization. We're going to take a look at a website and we're going to jump right in because a lot of businesses, they jump right in and they just start thinking, okay, the website's up, it's running, it's good to go, and we need to start driving traffic to it, which is not a bad idea, but we want to make sure a couple things are polished first. Number one, we're respecting the Google update in 2015, which adversely affected over 40% of the Fortune 500 companies out there. And what we want to do is make sure that you look good on all of these different devices, not just desktop and laptop, but also mobile tablets and mobile phones. So a good drag and drop test is where we come over here and we slowly bring this down to the width of a cell phone. And even though we're not quite there, look at how much is actually cut off. And we're not even all the way down. So you want to most likely get a web developer, if not just rebuild your website somewhere else. And if you need some help, reach out, let us know. I'm sure we can help you. Also, you want to make sure you have your SSL security certificate, make sure your website is secure. You can pause us here and read some of the benefits. Back in 2014, it was just a recommendation as a ranking uh, signal, as a ranking factor. And here's some of the benefits. You can pause here and read those too. But in this day and age, you actually run the risk of having your website actually pulled from listings of where it's at, which can adversely influence your business and your bottom line. And you don't want that. So make sure that A, you have your GMB or Google My Business listing claimed if you're a for-profit or non-profit organization. And also make sure you have the SSL security certificate so it's not going to be pulled from here. So you can just go to your address bar, click on here, make sure everything's dialed in. Here's an example. So we're going to come over here, click this, see that it's uh, secure and that you also have the HTTPS up here in the address bar. If you don't have it, make sure you go to your web hosting, which is the same place that you built your website. Okay, This is the property physically, uh, so digitally it's the equivalent. You build your house or your website there. The domain address is usually bought at a registrar, and you're just attaching it to the web hosting. So get it with your web hosting if you don't have an SSL security certificate. This is also going to help you to improve rankings as well as overall page visibility for your website. Then you can jump into the SEO space and start getting traffic. But you also have to make sure that this is dialed in. So once the traffic lands on here, you're going to be able to turn them into leads, sales leads, which gives you opportunities to close deals, talk with them and see what can be done. Even if you don't close a deal with them, they could still be a referral source. So keep that in mind. But number one, you want to make sure that this is responsive, which this web page obviously has some work that can be done. And then you also want to make sure that the title tag, when you drop this down, is actually focused on the word that you want to rank for, the service you want to rank for. If it's not, in this case, it's, there's nothing there for bankruptcy attorneys, you want to go to your page and you want to change that. So you find the pages, you find the actual specific page, come down here to SEO settings, and over here, you want to make sure this is dialed in where you have Detroit bankruptcy attorney or Detroit bankruptcy lawyer. Make sure the city and everything is dialed in if you're local, if you're national or international, if you're a clothing company, obviously apply what makes sense for you. And then once you have that dialed in, you want to make sure that you also have a clickable phone number in the upper left and a contact form in the lower right. You want to have more calls to action and you want to actually have the phone numbers clickable. And a lot of companies don't do that. A lot of other companies also see this as getting it done, but you see how much uh, how, how little the invitations are for calls to action here. And this is more like a $30,000 website for companies that are well-established, have a lot of revenue coming in. So this was a first pass that we did. Remember, you have the clickable phone number in the upper left that follows them around and a contact form in the lower right. And when we bring this down to the width of a cell phone, it all responds. Everything's nice and dialed in. You still have that phone number clickable. And then you have this contact form in the lower right. And when we move forward, we did a second pass at this. And you can see it, it seems really subtle between the two, and it didn't, doesn't look like we did much, but we did a ton with shading, digital uh, presence and whatnot, and you can see how it's much more polished and dialed in. Again, don't focus on doing something like this when this kind of result can actually bring in results like this, 227 calls, a ton of form submits from all different pages of the website, 169 calls in 31 days, or my favorite case study where we get 39 leads, they close 30 out of 39 leads for the tree service company, and an average ticket price of $15 hundred dollars let me ask you what would an additional forty five thousand dollars per month do for your company's bottom line is this really what you want or do you want those kinds of results that are driven from this kind of conversion rate optimization so those are the best practices i hope you found it valuable if you like the information here go ahead and like and subscribe check out our other videos and leave a comment below let us know your favorite part and if you want some help with this just reach out let us know we're more than happy to speak with you uh, if not have a good business have a good life but if this is for you let us know and we will talk to you soon